Hi all, in this video we'll learn how to send and receive emails with Python in Gmail. So one of the most annoying things to kick stuff with is to get a password from Google. So um, before the two-step verification uh, has been applied to Google accounts, uh, you could have uh, sent emails just via the plain SMTP, simple mail transfer protocol, uh, but then they've added this two-step verification and uh, they also added the Gmail API, like uh, OAuth2 API, but that's extremely, like, <laughs> for me personally, that's a weird thing. It's secure, but I don't give a fuck to security, really. So, um, there is another alternative way, the third way to go. So, you can still use SMTP, but with SSL. And that's the exact thing that we're supposed to be covering in this video. So, um, uh, I created a Python script that does make use of SMTP with SSL, but before we can actually use it, we need to generate so-called a password. So how to do this? So create an app uh, passwords. So we need to log into your Google account, go into security, make sure that two step verification has been selected. Well, this is probably the same for all of us. And then uh, go with to select the app password. Well, it's not there, unfortunately. At the least, I can't really find it. But if you so if you click here, search Google and uh, Google account, and go to app password here, then it just finds this app passwords. And here, uh, you can just select the application. So there should be other um, like uh, test mail, for instance. And you just generate, and it will give you give you an app password. I'm not going to use this one, obviously. I will now delete this so that you're not going to be able to <laughs> log into my email. But this is the password that you need to drop into the source code. I'll show you where exactly. So this is sort of an SMTP password, not your Gmail account password, right? So now we just delete this. It's no longer capable. But I also have this command line make line uh, being generated exactly the same way. So hopefully that makes sense. Okay, now that being said, let's have a look at the source code. Okay, so here we have a whole lot of things to import just to make sure we can formulate a message and we do cover the protocols here. Here is my email and this is the password generated by the Google app passwords. Two essential functions, so receive mail and send mail would be uh, available down below. So send mail goes via SMTP and uh, the created mail, uh, the mail that has been created earlier. So the mail is getting actually created with uh, create mail. So this can be either no attachment, just the plain text mail or the mail uh, with attachment that it would ask you to uh specify the file name things like that and then for receiving mail well for now it's limited just to uh, receive the plain mails uh like text plain but it also possible to pause the email and to get uh either the embedded base 64 encoded images or attachments or whatever so uh the format of the email that we can receive is quite complicated so this might deserve like a separate tutorial and uh at the very end, I have these uh, like sort of a very simple uh, command line interface uh, menu interaction. So without further ado, let me demonstrate how this uh, works. So I can simply say Python 3 and Gmail Py. And so what do I want to do? I want to send mail. So let's say 3, just exit, right? So 1, send mail. So I want to send it to myself, so I'm specifying the email uh, gmail.com subject testing SMTP. Uh, so I can either read the email from file or I can just type it. So I'm not going to be reading from file because I don't need this. So just no. So type your email, honey CMK. Um, this this is a test email do not reply to this and if it asks me uh, if i want to attach the file no and yes i want to send the email right now i will send another one so again to myself uh, 
and this time uh, source code uh, so I want to no it's not still don't want this and uh, have a look at the gmail smcp source code in the attachment down below and yes i want to attach file and attach the source file so gmail.py which is the name yes i want to send the email and i want to quit now you see here in the inbox i've just received two emails the first one is this one testing smtp so hi cmk this is email test don't do not reply so this is it and this one you see like it has the attachment here so we can also deal with the attachment see what is in there uh is it going to show no it's not showing but yeah there is an attachment which is good news okay um and finally last but not least is how to see the incoming emails so let's say i have a couple of incoming emails here so just for simplicity i made them the plain text ones so if it has like embedded picture or attachments it's really like much harder to pass it so just for simplicity i'm doing the plain text but again um if you have like more than just a plain text again everything is within the message object you just need to pass it properly so that's just a matter of passing technique so let's try to read these two messages from the command line now so i go back and i say read mail so if there is a whole lot of mails i can specify how many emails i want to fetch but uh, i can say either two or just skip and it will give me these two exact emails uh, that I have. So test one, test two, and the specific lines. A link to the source code is going to be available in the description down below the video. So feel free to get cloning and go and tinker with it. Now this is it from my side. Thanks for watching and see you later.